Hi everyone, bonjour, Rachel here from Déjà Vu Thrifting. Welcome back to my channel. Now, today I had good plans. I was going to go to a Western Ottawa strip where uh, we have uh, four different thrift stores on the same street, which is wonderful. However, Mother Nature has other plans. As I'm filming this, we are Tuesday, Seniors Day, uh, January 9th, and they are forecasting a pretty good storm. So I think I will stay a little bit more close by and postpone that to next Tuesday. So today we're going to go to Value Village uh, in an eastern suburb of Ottawa and uh, see what I can find inside to sell online on eBay, Etsy, Poshmark, and knickknacks.net. So let's go in and check that out. Allons-y. Okay, I'll start with the end cap here in the pink and purple. It's a cute little pewter bank here. This is party light. Yes, it is. What else do we have? Oh, oh these are just like Dollarama type of little figurines. There's only one of these. $10, eh? A little bit more than I want to spend. This is $5.99. It's a blown glass apple. Kind of speckled with a very deep purple amethyst. There was a Ponto Mark. $5.99. Hmm. I wonder. It's not red. That's the only thing that... Um, I, no, I don't think so. This is not a glassy baby for sure. Okay, let's go down this aisle and see if there's anything interesting here. Lots of larger figurines. I was here about a month ago, so... There's some of the things that I see that are still here. This is a frosted glass. That's weird. It feels almost like waxy. Huh. I don't know. Oh, there's a big chip right there. Now this is a bank. And it says Orange County Choppers. It's a gas tank. It is made in China 2004. Hmm. Not too knowledgeable about bike stuff. Ooh, what is this? What? It's just a flat structure project piece. First Communion, I think people are looking for First Communion. A couple of videos back I picked up at Mission a red velvet uh, pewter little frame for First Communion and it sold within two days uh, on Etsy I believe. So it's just, I don't know, this one's a little girl. It is frosted glass. Could be to put your rosary souvenir or some jewelry. $6.99 though. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It is a nice condition. This is, I don't know, I think I will consider this. I will put it in my cart and we will think about that. $5.99. What is this all about? Fill her up. Is that like a trinket box? What's... Can you open this? I don't know. There's another shell with broken pieces. I really like these two uh, cats, however. Yeah, it's a little bit... They're made of wood. But no, this one is kind of a ceramic. This one is wood. But a uh, little over my budget. Well, that's a little clown that's not too scary. Let me see. Russ. It's a little bank. 
I guess he's supposed to have maybe a balloon or an umbrella there. Hmm. Okay. Okay, we have a lot of little figurines here. I don't see anything that attracts my attention. I like this little kitten. It's kind of a... It is plastic. But I don't know. I'm not sure. I always hesitate to ship plaster. It just scares me. Now this. Are these real feathers? Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Little beaks are good. $2.99. I think I'm going to pick this up. This is lovely. This is absolutely lovely. What is this? Oh, there's some stones missing. Here too. Okay, well, never mind. So then you're from Florida. More figurines here. The uh, shelves are not really full. I guess they kind of cleaned up the place a little more, right? What is this? Oh, gee, I thought it was like a bowling ball. That's weird. Happy holidays. Oh, what is this? I like this. That's a very nice uh, vase. It's made of wood. I just like the way that uh, has like, like, I don't know how to explain that, huge thumbprints, <laughs> big and dense. $5.99, I think I, um, yeah, with my 30%, I think I'm gonna pick this up as well. So, looking at the shelves, I'm quite disappointed. Um, this is mostly boxes, thin boxes, metal and candles, so we'll follow down the aisle and see if we can find something. I like this uh, trivet here. I thought it was pewter, but it's not. It's probably made in China, very low quality, but I like the, uh, the idea. I like the design. Oh, this is a nice little trinket dish. Is it crystal or glass? Hang on a second. Does it say here? Avon. <laughs> okay. I think I'll leave it there. Are these Mozart? No. What? They look plastic almost. They kind of have a shiny Concord candles, 12 inch feather candle. I have I have a pair of pink um, yeah, I have a pair of pink ones. I saw some green and some red. I have a pair of pink ones and it's not selling. I don't know if this is a color that would be more popular, but it doesn't seem to be that vintage. So just on that, I think I'll pass. Oh gosh, this is a cute little doggy basket. Oh, something's missing at the bottom. This has a silver inlay. No signature or anything. It is nice though. Hmm. Oh, there seems to be a crack right there. Okay. Vanilla, not my favorite scent. This is Marie Pierre, my, my daughter's favorite scent though. But I like more like the citrus flower um, scents. She likes the sweet cookie, vanilla, those kind of scents. Okay. Uh, no glassy baby. Okay, we'll move on to the next aisle. Okay, on the other side we have vases and planters. So, let's see what we can. It's a little vase. I like this pottery here. It's quite heavy actually. No signature or anything. $2.99 is very reasonable. I like this. It's in good condition. Whoops, what's inside? Whoa. Wait. We have a surprise. What's in there? <laughs> Candies! I have a treat! Yes, I have a treat! <laughs> okay. Yeah, so I'm gonna pick this up. 
I got a Halloween treat in there. Now this one too is interesting. Oh, Christ is not there. Oh, it's made in China. Okay. And this, it's cute, very simple with a little hand painted flower. Again, made in China. This, oh, that's nice. Frosted. I don't know. Cute little rabbit planter, but there's an awful lot of crazing, so we'll leave that behind as well. Okay, I like this little sign here. I love you more than bacon. Hmm, I'm gonna love someone really, really good to love it more than bacon. <laughs> That's cute though. It's got an awful lot of marks though. If it would have been in better condition, I think. Well, no. Yeah, too many marks. It is lovely though. Flamingo's puzzle. Mm -hmm. What is this kind of contraption here? Uh -huh. Oh, there's pieces of something in there. Okay, wait. Open this up. Oh. Well, wait a minute. Let me investigate this more. So, I'm not familiar with this game. It's got all these little uh, tiles with numbers. Um, I don't know if all the tiles are there for the game, so just for that reason, I'm gonna leave it there. This is really odd. It's, I thought it was a trip, but it's making noise. <laughs> this is a mirror. Hmm. Made to look rustic, but it is um, new. carved wooden box with a cat on it. Hang on. Let me see this. Oh no, it's a pillar. Oh, okay. I thought it was a box. Well, it's just a pillar. Maybe put a plant or a statue of your cat. <laughs> That's another wooden box. I like the shape of it. It's kind of different. 349. Let's check the inside. Okay, it's not line, it's wood. Whoops. It's in good condition inside. There's, there's some marks on the outside. But I like that it's different. It's not that bad. 349, so that, that would be a good amount uh, with my 30%. So I will put that in the cart. So I was looking in the albums because I like to look for vintage ones and I, I saw these two. These are definitely baby albums that are from the 80s and sure enough 1980 right there. I don't know if that is the color or if it yellowed or not. There's even the uh, souvenir de baptême which is a, a baptism certificate. That's empty, obviously. But yeah, pages are very nice. So $5 minus 30%. And then this one here that's still new in the uh, package at the Bay back then. The Bay is a Canadian store. Des Marais and Fin made in Canada. I don't see it a year, but I would say that that's from the 80s as well. So, I'm picking those two albums up as well. Hmm. No covers for this one. What is this? General Electric. Okay. What is this here? Oh, it's a uh, 
that's a wall letter bill thing hmm. all the little doodads are broken down here to hang keys besides it's plastic but I do pick up the metal ones and the wood ones they sell quite well we've seen this one last time I think there was no lid oh no that's not the one hmm two liters five dollars I don't know made in China is that what it says what does it say underneath hang on a second hello you say where are you from <laughs> I can't tell we saw that last time It's a great bottle, but for $12.99, I will leave it there. Last time I was here, I was desperately looking for two mugs. What if they're here? What if they never were bought and the other two uh, joined their friend? It's a couple aisles over, so we'll see. What is this here? This is heavy. What is this? Pewterex, so it is Pewter, Pennsylvania. Hmm. Okay, keep calm and add sugar. Always. Always. Sugar, sugar. So this end cap, red and black. We saw that last time too. No. Okay. There's nothing much um, in the pots and pans aisle except that I saw this. Definitely vintage. It's enamel. I love the pattern and it is in very nice condition. There's minor uh, stuff around the edge here, but I think it's just dirt. But easy clean. Even the handle is nice, not cracked. Hardly any scratches I wish there were more the inside eh, oh wait a minute well no it's still you know I'm sure with some bacon soda I can fix that up easily underneath two uh, very nice they do want $10.99 but with my 30% it might be worthwhile I will look at comps online and be right back so based on what I saw, there's a couple of listings similar or the same thing. Um, they're vintage, definitely made by Hacindia. And I saw a set of four that sold recently for 225 So even as a single one, I think it might be worth my while. I'll at least double, maybe triple, maybe quadruple my money. So I'm picking this up. I was considering these because for six at three ninety nine and I think you know three, six, eight, and twelve. That would have been nice. However, I'm looking at them and there's a lot of the gold that um, has faded along the rim. So uh, simply for that reason I think I'll leave them. But otherwise I would have totally picked that up. Um, I like this little glass butter dish but for six dollars I don't think I can justify that then I saw this now this is probably half bower from what I see um, and for $19.99 this is 24% lead crystal um, I don't know how popular that would be and they usually go for maybe 35 to 45 so uh, you know I don't know it doesn't leave much room if it's something like that that I would pick up for maybe half of that price yes but even at 20 um, i very unsure so unfortunately as expected those two mugs are gone yep someone took them <laughs> it's been a while but I was just hoping the other two would join them so we're at the brown and beige end cap and this here 
I really like. Very heavy. Made in India. It is metal and it has, um, I don't know, I need to clean that. But it has three different colors um, for $3.99 with my discount. Oops, what is this? It's just a little uh, scratch. I'm de definitely gonna pick this up. So, full disclosure, with my extensive salt and pepper shaker collection, I had those and I have decided to sell them. And um, they sold relatively quickly. So, these here are five dollars for both so i think um i think i'm gonna go ahead and pick those up and uh, attempt uh, to sell them again okay, so i scoot over to a more quiet area so i can talk about four baggies that i just picked up on the large wall of baggies Go all the way down there took me a while but i found some interesting things first off uh, this is a baggie for $4.99 might keep in mind still always 30% off so $4.99 I have four lead I mean it's written, it's written underneath war lead uh, mini salt and pepper shakers and I think um, I think I'm gonna grab those then we have these um, napkin rings there's 10 of them in the bag they're all metal and they're not copper. Ah, are they real copper? They might be, yeah. So anyway, I think that's a good pickup as well. These here are very interesting. These are vintage Gemco uh, clear glass salt and pepper shakers. And what I like here, although this is a singleton, uh, this is definitely a vintage um, salt and pepper. Uh, well, a shaker uh, from late 50s, early 60s, maybe. So this is a small cheese uh, shaker as well. So this probably will be redonated, for, but for uh, $3.99, I think it's worth it. And then finally, this one here for $5.99. Um, I don't know, I have to look through. I think, oh, there we go. No, see? I was looking at those two nice uh, stone and wood coasters and this one is broken so I'll put this one back. Oh, I have ventured into the wallets and uh, purse aisle and then um, I don't know if you remember a couple of videos ago I also picked up a nice beaded uh, vintage purse from Bijou Turner and this one is Bijou Turner as well. It absolutely is lovely. There is a fringe here. I don't know if it's missing on that side. Or maybe see they want nine dollars. I would be six. But it's absolutely what a beautiful soiree purse. No. Uh no, look. Uh, well, is it just what is this? Poop. I think it can just be clean. Oh, I have to wash my hands real good after. Um, it doesn't look like there were beads missing. I'm very, very tempted. Um, I'll do a comp and see. Okay, so yes, it's confirmed. It's supposed to have um, this all the way around as I'll put a uh, picture of a comp up there. So that's gonna stay here, unfortunately. Another lovely vintage beaded purse. Lots of beads missing. That's so sad. Now this purse reminds me of Sophia from the Golden Girls. Now, although she's missing a strap with the... <laughs> oh gosh, that was a good show. These are really cool little handmade purses made with um, candy wrappers. Um, sadly, they don't sell for much. Maybe, you know, $10, $12, $14 at the most. So for the, for the price, I'm going to leave it as well. So if you've been following me for a little bit, you do know that I love bling bling. 
and I have a nice Dominican Republic trip planned with my uh, two girlfriends. So uh, this is brand new called, from College Springs. It's a beach bag-ish. I love it. So I am picking this up for myself. I believe they want $10.99, but with my discount, it will end up being very reasonable. And it's new. So pretty happy with everything I have in my basket. I looked it over quickly and I have no regrets. So we're gonna make our way to the cash and I'll see you in the car. So my total today was $69.02. Very happy about that. That includes my 30% discount. Came back with two bags. Very happy about that too. And uh, let's go home and then I will itemize and tell you uh, exactly how much I paid, including the discount for each item and how much I think they are worth. So this concludes the video for today. If you enjoyed it, please consider giving it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, all you have to do is click on that little purple button right there and then hit the little bell notification so you get notified every time I upload a video every Tuesday around 9 p.m. And until I see you next time, be safe everyone. À la prochaine.